हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड लंग कैपेसिटीज ओके इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन द रेस्पिरेटरी फिजियोलॉजी इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ पी एफ टी दैट इज द पल्मोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट बेसिकली दिस लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज स्टैटिक लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज एंड अदर वन इज डायनामिक लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज ओके सो इन दिस टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन दिस स्टैटिक लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज डायनामिक लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज इंक्लूड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर दैट इज दंक फोर्स वाइटल कैपेसिटीज दैट इज एफ ई वी वन ओके विच इज यूज टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टिव एंड रेस्ट्रिक्टिव लंग डिसीज वील डिस्कस इन सम अदर लेक्चर और सम अदर वीडियो राइट नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस स्टेटिक लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटीज बेसिकली देर आर फोर इंपॉर्टेंट लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड फोर इंपॉर्टेंट लंग कैपेसिटीज विच वी आर गोइंग टू एड्रेस टूडे सो दिस आर डिपिक्टेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दिस ग्राफ नोन एज स्पाइरोग्राम वील डिस्कस दिस एट द एंड ऑफ द टूडेज लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट वॉट आर द वेरियस लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड लंग कैपेसिटीज lung volumes and lung capacities so there are basically four important lung volumes and four important lung capacities static lung volumes and lung capacities we are going to discuss the definition and their normal value and the normal value in normal male adult okay okay let me draw a simple uh, line diagram of the lung to make this point more clear so see this is the normal lung i'll just draw uh, just imagine this as a one of the normal lung right normal lung so normally we take inspiration and expiration in a normal ventilation right so the amount of air which is taken during the normal breathing that is normal inspiration and normal expiration that amount of the air it is called as tidal volume or tidal respiration normal this one so how much amount of the air normally we will take that x volume it is called as tidal volume it is around 500 ml so the first lung volume which we are going to discuss is tidal volume so tidal volume is the amount of the air which is inspired or expired normally okay in a normal ventilation so around 500 ml of the air enters inside and uh, during each breath okay most important during each breath not per minute during each breath so normally during each breath during inspiration we take 500 ml and during expiration we exhale 500 ml that is called as tidal volume okay now second important uh, lung volume which we need to study is inspiratory reserve volume inspiratory reserve volume okay simply we can write this as irv okay like tidal volume tv we can designate as irv so what is this inspiratory reserve volume so above and over the normal tidal volume that is normal tidal respiration we have a capacity that is our lung has a capacity to take some more amount of the air suppose if i inhale try to inhale forcefully okay some extra amount of the air can be inspired above and over the normal tidal volume so that extra amount of the air which can be inhaled forcefully above and over the normal tidal inspiration that extra amount of the air it is simply termed as irv or inspiratory reserve volume okay let me just draw here like this so some extra amount of the air which can be inspired above and over the normal tidal respiration this extra amount of the air it is called as inspiratory reserve volume normally it is around 3000 ml again i want to stress here this is the normal average value in adult males okay however there is a range it may vary even with the males and 20 to 25% is lesser in the females okay in healthy athletes and all it will be more as compared to the non exercising individuals anyway so i hope the definition is clear for inspiratory reserve volume so what is inspiratory reserve volume let me tell tell once again so the extra volume of the air which can be breathed or taken in in during the deep inspiration after above and over the normal tidal inspiration that extra volume of the air it is called as inspiratory reserve volume right it is a reserve extra normally we will not take deep breathing right we will do only tidal respiration inspiration expiration 500 ml of the air right now some amount of the air is always there in the lungs okay some amount of the air is always there in the lungs so after the end of the normal tidal expiration 
okay after the end of the normal tidal expiration also that is when we expire 500 ml of the air not all the air which is present in our both the lungs is expired some amount of the air is always remaining still we try to exhale the extra amount of the air after the end of the normal expiration that is after we exhale normal 500 ml still we try to remove the extra amount of the air from the lungs that extra amount of the air the maximum amount extra amount of the air which we can expel out forcefully after the end of the normal tidal volume that is normal tidal expiration that extra amount of the air which can be expelled out it is termed as expiratory reserve volume erv okay it is around 1100 ml so what is expiratory reserve volume this is the third lung volume which we have studied now so expiratory reserve volume it is also called as erv so what is expiratory reserve volume so the extra amount of the air which can be expelled out forcefully after the normal tidal expiration that extra amount of the air it is known as expiratory reserve volume it is around 1100 ml even after forcefully breathing or squeezing the lungs and to remove the extra amount of the lung, forcefully exhaling some amount of the air will be still remaining in the lungs that amount of the air which is still remaining of the lung even after the forceful expiration that lung amount of the air it is known as residual volume it is around 1200 ml okay so you can see four lung volumes which we have discussed today so what are that four lung volumes this is the residual volume okay we can write it as rv residual volume what are that four lung volumes one is tidal volume another one is inspiratory reserve volume then expiratory reserve volume and residual volume so totally if we sum up all this lung volume this is the total so it is around 5800 ml that is during in ventilation your lung can inhale or exhale that is the maximum lung capacity is around 5800 ml it is approximately around 6 liters that is 6000 ml that is 6 liters so four lung volumes are clear now let us discuss the various lung capacities lung capacity these are the static lung volumes and capacities which we are discussing right so first one is the inspiratory capacity inspiratory capacity okay now this capacities are basically sum of uh, two or three lung volumes so if we sum up this tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume then that it is termed as inspiratory capacity tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume that is around 500 ml plus 3000 ml so it is around 3500 ml so what is the inspiratory capacity so this one tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume that is this is the normal lung okay so the total amount of the air which can be or the maximum amount of the air which can be inspired out forcefully after the end expiratory level that is after the end expiration that amount of the air it is called as that is the capacity of the lungs it is called as inspiratory capacity that is after the end expiration that is normal expiration when we exhale 500 ml of the air after the end expiration we take deep breathing so it includes normal tidal volume also that is normally 500 ml you can take plus extra 3000 ml so that amount of the air at the after the remember at the end expiratory level from the end expiratory level these two volumes together it is termed as inspiratory capacity okay now on the other hand second important one is frc it is the functional residual capacity functional residual capacity okay functional residual capacity so what is functional residual capacity again it includes two lung volumes expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume expiratory reserve volume is around 1100 ml and residual volume is around 1200 ml so it is totally around 2300 ml roughly around 2500 ml that is 2.5 liters right so this two lung volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume okay if you add up this two lung volumes it will give up what 
functional residual capacitor FRC. It is very important topic. Normally, with the help of spirometer, we can measure all the lung volumes and capacity except this capacities and residual volume. Okay. I will discuss this in some other short video. What is functional residual capacity and how we normally measure this? Okay. There is this one technique to measure this functional residual capacity. Sometimes in theory exams, it can be a I am asked question in the university examination, what is functional residual capacity? Describe how to measure the functional residual capacity, right? Now, the third important uh, lung capacity is vital capacity, okay? What is vital capacity? So again, it includes various lung volumes and capacities. It includes tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume. Except residual volume, all the lung volumes, that is around 500 ml is the tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume is 3000 ml plus 1100 ml, okay. So, if you sum up, it will be around 4600 ml. So, it is around 4800 ml to 4600 ml. It is again in males. So, what is this vital capacity? It includes these three lung volumes, tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume and expiratory reserve volume, these three lung volumes. That is, suppose after taking the deep inspiration, that is after taking the full inspiratory capacities, after taking deep inspiration, if we exhale forcefully, so the maximum amount of the air which can be expelled out from the lungs after the deep inspiration, that it is known as vital capacity. What is vital capacity? The maximum amount of the air which can be expelled out after deep inspiration. Remember, after deep inspiration, the maximum amount of the air which can be expelled out at the end of the normal expiration is, is this one, okay? ERV, but the maximum amount of the air which can be expelled out after deep inspiration is called as vital capacity includes these three lung volumes, okay. Again, we will discuss about this vital capacity also in some other uh, lecture separately, a short video. Then finally, total lung capacity, total lung capacity or TLC, it is around 5800 ml. So, it includes tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume, okay. So, totally total lung capacity is around 5800 ml or you can just take it round figure as 6 liters or 6000 ml, okay. Hope the various lung volumes and capacities are clear to you. Let me revise what the lung volumes and capacity we have discussed, tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and residual volume and various lung capacities, inspiratory capacity functional residual capacity, vital capacity and total lung capacity, four lung volumes and four capacities, okay. In few of your textbooks, even there is one more uh, capacity known as expiratory capacity, okay, which includes tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume, okay. But if you remember these four at the level of first MEBS, more than enough. So, let us draw that spirogram, okay, spirogram. So, on y axis and x axis, x axis is basically the time but it is static, we do not consider the time unit. So, on the y axis, see from 0, suppose this is 1 liter or 1000 ml, it is in liters, volume of the air in liters on y axis, okay. 3 liters, 4 liters, 5 liters, okay, 6 liters, okay. Normally, normally how much amount of the air which is remaining inside the lung is residual volume, it is around. Uh, 1200 ml, okay, 1200 ml residual volume, okay. Then expiratory reserve volume is again above this, it is around, it is around 1100 ml, that is 2300 ml. So, this amount of the air is always remaining inside the lung, residual volume plus expiratory reserve volume, okay. So, let me write down here. So, this is residual volume, it is around 1200 ml. And this is the expiratory reserve volume, this is around 1100 ml. So, normally this much amount of the air is always present in the lungs, right. Now, above and over this, there is a tidal volume that is around 500 ml. This is 2300 ml, then here above and over this around 2000, this is tidal volume. So, normally in a spirometer, in a spirometer, so, this is the tidal volume, okay, tidal volume which is around 500 ml. So, 500 ml of the air enters here and 500 ml of the air is expired, it is exhaled. Now, if we do the maximum inspiration, then this is the inspiratory reserve volume, okay. This one is the inspiratory reserve volume, it is around 
थ्री थाउजेंड एम एल दैट इज फ्रॉम थ्री लीटर्स टू दप टू सिक्स लीटर्स दैट इज द इंस्पिरेटरी रिजर्व वॉल्यूम राइट नाउ इफ यू डू आफ्टर द टाइडल एक्सपीरेशन मैक्सिम एक्सपीरेशन इफ यू डू सो दिस इट इज कॉल्ड एज फंक्शनल रेसिडल कैपेसिटी विच इंक्लूड्स दिस टू थिंग्स टाइडल वॉल्यूम प्लस सॉरी दिस वन टाइडल वॉल्यूम प्लस इंस्पिरेटरी रेजर वॉल्यूम इट इज एक्चुअली एक्सपिरेटरी कैपेसिटी बट this capacity that is this erv plus residual volume it is called as functional residual capacity okay functional residual capacity and this one tidal volume plus erv plus inspiratory capacity it is together sorry inspiratory reserve volume it is called as vital capacity okay and all this is the total lung capacity okay let me show you this again in that spirogram this one so see this is the normal tidal inspiration this is inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume okay then inspiratory capacity vital capacity total lung capacity and functional residual capacity so four lung volumes and four lung capacities hope it is very clear to you please remember this normal values and it is in females around 20 to 25% these values are lesser as compared to the normal adult males okay so please subscribe our channel doctor's corner and please share the link with your friends thank you